Hello, good day everyone. So, um, this is another tutorial, no? but uh, this will focus more on the question that I usually receive uh, from teachers and from students, especially in the Department of Education here in the Philippines on the question, how do I try, I mean, how do I make my laptop or PC uh, run faster? Actually, there is no definitive answer to that, no? And I can only show you how do I do it uh, in my own personal capacity or in my own personal practice uh, in my laptop or in my PC. So, um, the first thing that I usually do is, um, I mean, the first thing that I think is diff the way I do it versus you the way you do it in your laptop or in your desktop or in your PC is that uh, take for example the my screen right now this is my actual screen right now and for me this is even uh, in chaos right now because I do I don't usually have this kind of screen that means that this this are work in progress but for me, this is not the the way you have your screen supposedly, because number one, you should, if you're going to make, or if you're trying to make your laptop or your desktop run faster, you should have the least minim, I mean the least number of icons or items on your desktop screen. Why? Because if you press Control Alt Delete. Control Alt Delete now. Then you go to Task Manager. Again, that's Control Alt Delete, and then just choose Task Manager. And then in the performance of your PC, you will be able to see the 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 performance of your PC or your desktop or or your laptop. And then you'll be, uh, you'll be able to see my CPU performance, my memory or the RAM performance my disk performance my wi-fi performance and my gpu performance if you have your own gpu in your devices now this thing right here in the desktop actually contributes to the to your memory performance now the the greater the number of items in your desktop the greater the the cost in terms of your random access memory in your device that's why I'm always telling uh, my t our teachers or our students whom I have the chance to speak that as much as possible, your desktop should be clean. How clean is that? So that means you're going to practice proper file path. I mean, like for example, here, this is about LDM, 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 LDM. So I may as well just create one folder that should contain LDM presentations, presentations, and then I'll just, you know, drag, click and drag and drop, click, drag and drop all those LDM related presentations. And instead of putting it in the desktop, I'll just, uh, I'll press X or uh, click and I'll press control X. That means I'm going to cut it and then in my documents, I'm going to paste the or is open though in another program. Wait for a while. Is it? Yeah, it's there. Okay, so that you'll not it will minimize the number of items in your screen okay and then if you can minimize i mean if you can arrange it the again the 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 least number of items in your desktop the better okay number two second is if you have items in your recycle bin please make it a habit to empty recycle bin if you know, you're sure naman that those items are, you're not going to use it anymore or you have copies of those items on your on the web 
or in your cloud storage like OneDrive or like Google Drive. Okay? Then I'll just close it first. Then the second step that I do, if you have your if you have your search icons there, you have desk just type there desk cleanup then run as administrator. Remember to, if you are doing something like this, always run the program uh, in administrator. So, desk clean up is calculating how much space you will be able to free on Windows C. This may take a few while. So, desk clean up right now is telling me to check those uh, items that can be, you know, can be freed. Files to delete now. So I can also free Windows Update Cleanup, Windows Defender Antivirus, the junk files there, upgrade log files, and all other items that uh, temporary files can also be deleted. You have the options, no? It's it the it, I'm for example in the win, in the Windows Update Cleanup you can also uncheck it if you don't want to delete it. The up the Windows Upgrade Log files you can also just uncheck it if you if you if you don't like deleting the log files if it's important to you but uh, for me just, just delete those items so that i may be able to save at least 7.29 gigabytes of space and that's that's many see windows update cleanup because i have uh that's a lot of space, right? Mm -hmm. So you visual windows update clean up list or compressible taking up space. Yes. And there's a column there that you might need to restart your computer. Mm -hmm. And so I'll be able, if I click OK, that, that will prompt me to restart my computer. So I'll not be doing that one for now. As long as you are directed to Again, I'll cancel it first. Just type in your search bar there, desk cleanup, and then run as administrator. Okay, and it will calculate again, and it will suggest what files is safe for you to delete. Okay, some of our teachers really are just are just afraid of the word delete, even just for the word of delete now. So. For example, here it will automatically calculate the the space that I'll be able to save. Okay, so I'll just click cancel. Another thing uh, for you to also save your files and try to make your PC or laptop run faster, you type there defrag. So defrag and then run as defragment and optimize drives. Run as administrator. So it's telling me that my media type is solid state drive. So I'll click and uh, supposedly you can just analyze it before you optimize. But the frequency of your the frequency of your uh, here is weekly and my state my drives are being optimized automatically in my settings. In your settings uh, it's not yet changed to automatically so just like this run on the schedule you can run it weekly monthly or daily it's up to you so but my choice is uh, weekly uh, increase task priority so okay and okay so my settings are set automatically that's why or I can just also click optimize the optimize button here and up my okay current status so my drives are now optimized and it tells me that my computer can run more efficiently uh, in this state so zero days since last run then I click close and one of the few, 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 few. I'm actually this is the very, the very basic. No, uh, is for you to check your files regularly. Just like this, you can just right-click in this recent files, 
and then remove from quick access all from frequent folders just remove also or unpin from quick access so that it will not take up much of your of your resources and then also in your downloads folder you may check in your downloads folder because most of us are downloading most of the time anything in the internet and then like for example here i can just you know i can just delete some of these Mm -hmm. I can just delete some of these items and yeah I can that's all I can just delete it delete and then again I'll just go to the recycle bin and then empty recycle bin or some of it is delete those unnecessary files or you might want to arrange your file so that in indexing it will not be that hard for your computer to index your files uh, if there's a proper you know file path like the folders properly tag like this or for example i'll have you know it's quite messy so i'll just create a new folder here new folder and then i'll just put excel files so that all my excel files just like this and then i'll cut and then i'll paste all my excel files in one folder see and maybe might as well create new folder for my presentations presentations so I'll be able to select this up to this my presentations where are you okay and then I'll also create a new folder for my word files so that means my document files so from that to that and I'll be able to cut it and paste it in that folder. See, it's much more organized compared to the last one and I'll be able to delete some items that are not really or not yet needed. Okay. I'll be able to delete it see so that's how you try to organize your files then go to the recycle bin again and make sure to empty the recycle bin if not that needed okay so that's how we try to how we try to to make our PC or laptop run faster so again Number one is for you to make sure that you have the least possible number of, like for example here, you know, I can just transfer this one also to that presentation folder. See, presentation folder. And then the least number of items in your desktop. Number two is to delete the items in the recycle bin if not needed. Uh, number three is, you know, try to 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 organize your files. Try to see your files there, and delete those items which are not really needed. Okay, or you can just upload the rest of your the rest of your files in your OneDrive or in your Google Drive. So since you are in DepEd, you can just upload your files using your uh, accounts in office.com so just for example in my case mm -hmm. I'll just upload all my files in my OneDrive you know you can just upload it in my in your OneDrive and then just delete your files later on okay I have also another video on uploading your files in your OneDrive then again you can use the desk cleanup and then run as administrator or you can also use the defragment and optimize drive and then run also as administrator so that's it i hope it will be able to help you 
try to make your laptop or your desktop run faster. Thank you so much and good day.